once you complete your search, you can click View Reports or double click on the listing. It will open up on the default tab, Property Detail. Different information is broken up in different tabs. By clicking on the right hand side in the scroll bar on the arrows, you can view the different reports on each individual property. You can hide the photos or show photos. You can modify this report by going to Modify, Display, and watch what happens to owner information when I uncheck it. It goes away. You can do the same thing by clicking on it and it will bring it back. You can print, save, or email this information. The Comparables tab allows you to bring up similar listings and where they're located on the map. Clicking on the map pins highlights that listing in the search results. When I click on number 5, number 5 will light up. When I click on number 3, 3 lights up. The map tools are also functional. You can also change views by going to Change Views. You can do the map view, the grid view, or the split view like we had it. You can customize the search results spreadsheet by dragging and dropping, making the columns wider or smaller. You can click the Modify button to customize what columns show up in the search. Select your preferences and click Save and Submit if you want to keep it for future searches. Once you have the spreadsheet the way you want it to look, click on the Generate Comps button for a beautiful report. If you find something you missed or don't like, then click Edit Report and it will bring you back. The Market Trends tab are the pricing trends within the same area your listing is in. You can modify how you want this report to look as well by clicking on the Modify button below. The Market Trends Premium button takes you to a website. You can click on it to read more about it. The Neighbors tab allows you to check out the surrounding houses. You can see them all on the map. You can scroll down to see the additional information. Oops. You can also scroll on the map to zoom in and zoom out, obviously. You can scroll down to see the additional information. The arrows give you different options, which you can see when you hover over each of them. Scroll right a single column, scroll to next page of results, and scroll to last page of results. And last but not least is the neighborhood profile tab. This shows a demographic summary of multiple categories such as population, housing, and more. The more you scroll down, the more information you will see. You can modify any of these as well by going to the modify button. You can print, save, or email this report. You can also get to this tab through Paragon through a specific listing by clicking on the screen action icon that says Realist Neighborhood Report when you hover over it. When you click on it, it will bring you to that same neighborhood profile tab. And voila! 38978 Road P, 38978 Road P.